The world is getting not one, but two versions of Iron Man 3, the Chinese version and the everyone else version. So why is China so special? Well, the movie features so many Chinese elements that Marvel could justify cutting an entirely different movie for Chinese audiences. It also might have something to do with Tony Stark's arch enemy in Iron Man 3, the Mandarin, who is Chinese in the comics. But don't expect Ben Kingsley's version of the Mandarin to be specifically Chinese. He's a little more ambiguous because director Shane Black wanted to steer clear of stereotypes. Both cuts of Iron Man 3 will feature Beijing scenery, shot on location, and a performance from veteran Chinese actor Wang Zhuqi. But the exclusive Chinese version is packed with bonus footage hand-selected for Chinese eyes only. That is until the rest of us get our hands on it and pick it apart frame by frame. This alternate version of Iron Man 3 also includes a cameo from China's female headliner, Fan Bingbing, who will also appear as Blink in that other Marvel movie, X-Men Days of Future Past. Apparently Marvel had a grand old time shooting in China and hopes this collaboration will act as a springboard for future co-productions. So we may see more Chinese landmarks popping up elsewhere in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Walt Disney Studios and Chinese distributor DMG Entertainment will release this highly anticipated third installment of the Iron Man franchise simultaneously in the US and China on May 3rd, 2013. But for now, you can only watch the Chinese version in China. Personally, I'm pretty stoked to eventually, hopefully see two versions of Shane Black's take on the Iron Man series, but how about you guys? Do you think they will be radically different or relatively similar? Let us know your reactions in the comments section below and on Twitter at Clever Movies. I'm Simone Boyce in Hollywood, signing off.